guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Now as you guys know there's been a lot of Asian species in my fish room lately because of taking on those extra 3,000 fish. But this week I was able to get in a bunch of South American species, some of which I think you guys will find really interesting. Today's video is on the Emperor Tetra, Nematobricon palmeri. Now I had ordered both Lacordiae and Palmeri so that I could show you guys these two interesting fish from this genus. However, as often happens, the distributor, while they charged me for two different species, they're all the same. So we'll take a look and I'll tell you how you would tell them apart regardless and a little more about them. So let's get started. As you can see, these guys are quite lovely. Their max size is about an inch and a half and they can take a range of temperatures from 73 to 80 degrees. Fahrenheit or 23 to 27 Celsius. Now, I think one of the best parts of this fish is that almost all of them are captive reared at this point because they're relatively easy to spawn. They also can take an extremely wide range of parameters from a pH all the way down to five up to about seven and a half. Now, in the wild originally, they came from slow moving streams in Colombia. However, as I mentioned, the vast majority of these are now captive bred or farmed. Uh, because of this, I find them to be exceptionally suitable to pretty much any level of hobbyist. They're really peaceful, very striking with that blue eye, and just a great all-around community fish to go with quarries, rasboras, other tetras, plecos, and dwarf cichlids like epistogramma, cribs, etc. Now, they're pretty easy to breed. These aren't quite at full maturity. When they get to adult uh, size and coloration. The males are noticeably bigger and fatter. And what's really interesting is they're in their tail fin, the middle ray, the black sort of arrow shaped part will grow extremely extended and so they're easy to sex. I think I actually am going to try these guys outside for you this year. Now if you are breeding them inside you'd want to mop spawn them. They're slow spawners laying a few eggs at a time so the actual courtship and spawning can take several hours and they will predate upon both their eggs and their young, so it's important to remove the spawning mops to rear the eggs. However, these guys are durable, beautiful, and easy to keep, and feed, and breed. Now, these are the palmeri, as I mentioned. There's another type that are called lacorti, named after Rosario Lacort, and those have a red eye. Uh, these are, were the ones I ordered as palmeri, and I'll show you the ones I ordered as lacordi, which are wild of this same species, and they're, they're obviously the same thing with that blue eye. So let's go take a look in that tank, too. Now you can see in this aquarium, I have them mixed with some of the Tucano Ichthys Tucano, some Ember Tetras, some of the Bard Pencils, as well as some Rainbows and Arisias and all sorts of fish. Um, and I do this sometimes just so that I can get a better idea of their behavior. But as you can see, the, the um, nematobricon or the emperor tetras that are in this tank also have that blue eye, which is how I know they're not the lacordiae, but they are the, they are the palmeri, which is okay because they're still a beautiful fish. In fact, they look almost identical except for that eye. Um, but all in all, these guys are just a fantastic community fish. Now they are schooling fish, so you would want to get them in groups of at least six to ten, uh, with more as always being better. Now as I look through this aquarium, I just noticed that there is one red-eyed fish right there. So that is the actual Lacordiae. See how its eye is red? Whereas the other ones have blue eyes. So it seems as though my distributor sent me one fish of the correct fish. All in all, these are a terrific, durable, bomb-proof, exceptional fish for the community aquarium. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, or if you have ideas of videos you'd like for me to see. I also want to hear from you if you would like to see me breed those uh, Emperor Tetras outside or not. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, please don't forget to stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website where you can see my upcoming speaking engagements, the fish I have for sale, and information on all things nano.